It appears the 11 foot god does not want to fight with the princess and that's okay. That's totally okay. Hello everyone and welcome to Empires. This is the SMP where I have decided that I am a princess. We are building up an empire in the theme of the sun and we are having a good time doing it. Let's get started, shall we? I've finally done it, everyone. I've gotten fortune. It, it took a little while, but I did do it. So now that means I can officially mine the rest of my diamonds. I've been saving them. Perfect. Okay, we have a six here. Let's see how many we get. Please be lucky. Please be lucky. Please be lucky. Please be lucky. It's looking promising. 16. Whoa, we got 10 extra because of that. I'm saving these diamond ores because they're stone, so they're more rare. Now we can finally make a diamond axe. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment. You know what? Let's also make a pair of diamond boots. Cover me with diamonds. This is so cool. Oh, this is so cool. Now, before we use these things, we are going to want to enchant them. So maybe it's about time we get a few more levels. Luckily, our farmers have been hard at work, right? Yep. And we have some potatoes, perfect. Hello, carrots please. Okay, that brings us to level 30, so let's go try our first enchant. All right, let's try our luck with the ax. Perfect, that is an awesome work ax for us. Protection four, eh, I mean, I'll take it. Now that we've narrowly avoided a war and upgraded ourselves, it's time for some other upgrades in, well, the Empire Department. Now that we are on episode five of this series, I feel it's time we move on from these starter materials. Although they've been good to us, there are more colors of dawn that can be added to this palette, but it's going to involve some trading. Right, let's gather up a couple of things to trade with the sheriff. Honeycomb is definitely a good trade. I don't think the sheriff has any of that. And we can also take some of our new trade, golden carrots. We're off to see the sheriff, everyone. At this moment in the rain, I am asking myself why my best alliance is with a man on the opposite side of the server. This was not my smartest business move. Not at all. This is a long walk. Ooh, what is that? Whoa, that is absolutely incredible. Pix, you did such a good job with the bridge. That's a, uh... Very impressive ladder. All oh, this terracotta is so tempting. This is what I came here for. I need to talk to the sheriff first though. Look, there he is. There's the sheriff. Sheriff. Hi, sheriff. Hello. Uh, this is quite the journey to uh, to get howdy. down here. Wow. Welcome, Hello. welcome to the beginnings of Tumble Town. Welcome, Tumble welcome, welcome. Town. I Tumble love town. it. Oh my gosh. It's it's a bit empty because um these look my hands. Look my hands. Mm -hmm. They they they're sore. They they're red raw and it's because I've been replacing every little bit of red sand into normal sand on it on looks this this bowl great. floor. Great. This looks so good, Jimmy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's well, great. Well, I'm 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 trying. I'm I'm trying. Um d did you have you got any honeycomb? Yes, uh, I came could, here to trade with me? you, actually, because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would like some terracotta from your uh, lands. Maybe not this land exactly, but I'll, I'll go somewhere and, you know, could I, do yeah, you know yeah, do that? Yeah, yeah, of course. We're an alliance. Everything that's mine is yours. Of course. Oh, perfect. So I could just... No, no not every... I didn't mean in the sense of that. I meant, well, meet Deputy Norman first. There he is. Norman! Oh, what a great deputy. Oh, my goodness. So yeah, you can take any terracotta you want. That's all good. And I'm, I'm glad you're actually asking me because uh, someone last episode, uh, Catherine, who I actually oh. haven't met personally. Well, I've met them in the end, but they just left me a sign and went, yeah, by the way, I took your stuff. Don't arrest me. And uh, That's not good. Yeah, they that. don't respect the law, obviously. Don't respect the law. Don't yeah, respect I the sheriff. I respect the don't law. Respect. So yeah. I have Ooh. brought some goodies oh oh from oh Dawn, oh my, my empire. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to start. Wait, give me a second. Holy moly, wait. Um, jeez. Uh, oh my god, this is too. <laughs> wait, this is a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. You're the sheriff. Jeez. You need a lot. Thank you so much. Wow. Um, so yeah, you can take how much terracotta you want. You can take how many your hands can in your bags can uh, and hold. And look at this. Look at this. I just set this up. I just set okay, this okay, up. okay. Whoa. I've got a gunpowder farm now. It's kind of explosive. Um, you just leaving this out around? I I trust you, and I trust 
Well, anyone can walk in here. Yeah, that might be a bit of a problem. <laughs> um, alliance rates, free. 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 Whoa. And uh, no alliance. Obviously, I'm going to make them pay for it because I need. I, we need to make money here as well, you know? Right, yeah, yeah, I yeah. need to make money in Tumble Town. Um, so, yeah, I, I still need to, because obviously you can see there's a lot of TNT that I've already uh, made. Mm -hmm. um, I still need to grind a little bit. But if you want to take, like, a stack or two of gunpowder now... Just in case. I will, I will take I know one a... stack. You know, I don't have wings yet, but it, it could come in handy. Mm, you never know. I'm the same. I'm the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Tumble Town is absolutely adorable, and it seems like the sheriff is faring quite well. So let's go ahead and find a neat little spot out of Tumble Town where I can mine just a little bit of terracotta. There is a little bit of red and orange right on the edge here, so I'm going to start with taking some of this. Look at these sunset colors! Oh, they make me so happy! I'm gonna get as much as I can because this is kind of a long journey. Okay, that's probably enough. Let's start the long journey home. Right, now that I'm back from my trading, I have a lot of new blocks to work with. I am so excited about this. And combined with the dyes that we got from Scott, we should be able to now make some very epic new blocks. I'm going to really quickly make up a palette of all of these sort of sunrise colors that we have access to so far so that we could get a good idea of where we are at. Just need a couple more flowers and some of the blocks are gonna need to be cooked. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to display some of these. So these are our options in the color yellow. And then we have some options closer to the color orange, and then the color red. From here, we can importantly transition into some of the colors of dusk and dawn, which we are gonna need to go to the nether to unlock even more of these. For now though, that's a pretty good start, and this ends up being the gradient. We have options, it's gonna be beautiful. Now, I suppose it's a good time to think about what we need next in the Empire of Dawn. We have all of the farms established for trading, a beautiful trade route road that runs to the nearest empire. We've got a starter house and we've got a lighthouse. Honestly, I'd say we're doing pretty good for an episode five. As you saw though, as I walked to Scott's and also to Jimmy's today, it is a long walk to get to Dawn. This means when travelers come here from other empires, they will see the lighthouse of Dawn and the jagged rocks and maybe they will want a place to stay. I think down on the coast down here, we should create a place where any guests could stay in Dawn. It would be a tavern, a beautiful tavern in Dawn where there could be entertainment and laughs all the time and you know, just just generally have it be a good time. So let's just clear a little bit of the trees out of here. Quick little shovel enchant. Okay. Now just a little bit more terraforming to prepare. I think that this looks like an absolutely perfect place to build a tavern. So I suppose it's time for a time lapse, everyone. Let's do it. It's building time. did it. I adore how this came out. It looks so sunny on the roof up there and the general shape of it is exactly what I wanted. Now it's all ready for guests except for the fact that the interior is not yet complete and I'm very excited to get to this. So I'm thinking our top floor up here will be our bedroom. So we'll have probably like two or three rooms up here for potential guests. And then we'll have this floor here, which will be like our restaurant or bar area where the entertainment happens. And then our bottom floor area, which is more like the reception or just like the welcoming area. So let's see if I can lay out some of these floors now. For this one right here, I think the obvious way to go is to make this little bit right here the hallway, maybe even over to here. So you'd imagine you come upstairs, there's a wall right here with maybe a doorway here for a bedroom and a doorway here for a bedroom. Now for the entranceway, I think we'll just have a nice little desk kind of right here and then maybe like an area for coat hanging or whatever just on the bottom, maybe even a little seat. But this floor is the important floor. This is the heart of the tavern. This is where all of the fun stuff happens. So I don't want to close it off too, too much. We'll just 
add a little bit of character in the place, perhaps. Maybe back here we can have a sort of stage where entertainers could get up and perform. Could even be a case made for having the staircase actually turn this way to save us a little bit of room over on this side. One of the reasons I'm working within this medieval theme at all is because right before Empires began, I was actually in London. <laughs> So a lot of the inspiration that I'm getting from these buildings is from London. One of the first things that I noticed about some of the old pubs that I was going in is the bottom floor would be very, very tiny. And you would have to go upstairs into the main restaurant of the pub. And that's sort of the same vibe that is going on here. As you go up, the rooms get bigger. Now that is probably enough chatter for me though. Let's go ahead and start decorating this place. I think as far as tavern interiors go, this is pretty good. We've got bedrooms upstairs. We've got a beautiful little bar area over here with a bar slash kitchen right there and then all of the seating. And then we've got a little reception area down here. I think it works. I'm feeling very inspired. Only thing now is the fact that the exterior looks just a little plopped here. Luckily, I've got a few ideas. I just need some more spruce wood. As with most buildings I do, I think a really big chimney is in order. I didn't really put a fireplace on the inside, but I have to assume that the kitchen works somehow. So we'll use our imagination and just place one here. This is probably about good. That's definitely a good start, but we want people to know that this is a town building that they can enter. It's a tavern. It's a place where people hang out. So my frog lights. I think we hang a sign. I think that's the move. If I just plop enough details in, maybe it'll start making sense. And that one needs that. This one needs that. And I actually think connecting these together could be pretty fun. There we go. And we just need a couple of these. Yep. That seems about right, honestly. And now to balance that out, we'll do some maybe banners on the other side and just a lantern. Now, this is a classic. I kind of always do this move, but it just, it always sort of works, okay? It's just a little string of lights. And now for my final trick, leaves. It just helps it look like it's more grown into the forest a little bit. And of course, once we get some trees around here, it'll be even better. Maybe we should even put a couple of these mangrove leaves up here on the roof. It contrasts quite a lot with the colors that we have going on, but I think it could potentially work. We just hang it right here. Yep, I think I definitely like that. It's beautiful. Obviously, I am going to want to restore a bunch of the flower forest and probably bone meal this area, but this looks so cute. It's perfect, I think. Hey, what's that? It looks like another wisp. Hmm, maybe this one will lead me further towards my fate. Uh, we'd better follow the lore, I guess. Luckily, I have a chest boat just over here. Okay, it seems to be taking me out in the ocean. Huh. This place is beautiful, but why would the wisps take me here? Hello? Hello? Oh, oh, Jam! Hi, welcome, welcome, bienvenidos! Hi, Sausage! Hi, welcome to Sanctuary, Hi, Jam Bubbles. Ongo. How are you? This is Bubbles! Wow, nice to meet you, Bubbles. This is yeah. so pretty, Sausage! Oh, thank you! I've been working really hard to make this place pretty. Look at this, I have a little banner maker shop over here. You need a banner? Come on in. I got banner cool. stuff here. Banner of Sanctuary. Yeah, I have a banner too, but I some magic led me to it. And oh. speaking of which, is there magic here? Magic? Oh, there, there's plenty of magic. It just arrived, actually, when, when Bubbles arrived. She brought it with me. All right, she brought it over here, and I have planted some stuff. Uh -huh. And something grew and sprouted last night. It was great. Really? Come Your on. lands are magic? Yeah. That's so exciting. I don't have any magic in my lands. What? You have to have magic. Jim, you're, you're part of your lands, and you're magical. Come on down. Nah, I'm, I'm just princess. 
Ooh. Yeah, 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 bad magic. Yeah, look at this. Watch this. Watch, look at all this beautiful little area here. There's flowers everywhere. There's trees that sprouted up. And look at this thing. I asked my lands for a nether portal so I could go into the nether and gather materials. Whoa. And boom, this thing sprouted overnight, Gem. This is so awesome. It sprouted? It's Just cool. magic? Lore? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because my old lands basically is like nature magic. Stuff would just sprout out from the ground and give me whatever I needed. And it made this. What's what's that up there? Up where? On top. Oh, it's a big flower. It's a big tulip. No, 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 no. This. Hold on. I go up. What is that? Yeah, go what is that? That's really weird. I didn't even notice that earlier. Look, huh. it's a magic butterfly. There's a butterfly there, Jam. Hold on, let me check. Oh, sorry! Jam. Sausage! Oh, I got you! Sorry. I caught you. <sighs> <laughs> oh, yeah. look, cool! Is that a butterfly? There's a butterfly it's here, It's so Jam. pretty. Oh, wow. Whoa. If you want it, you can have it. Grab that butterfly. It must be for you. <gasps> oh, they're so cute. Look. Oh, my God. Let me touch it. <laughs> oh, wow. These are amazing, Gem. You know they're, what? They're from this your has lands. to be meant for you. You don't even have any of these. Take those. Put those on. See how they fit. Cool. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. You have butterfly wings. Oh, this is perfect. They're epic, and they came from Sanctuary. Yeah, they did. Oh, this is beautiful. I want some, too. Magic, give me a second. Let me talk to the Magic real quick. Magic, can I have some wings that are nice, too, please? Magic. <laughs> I'm sure if come you ask now. nicely, it, it'll it'll come. Yeah, yeah, I'll ask. I'll, I'll, well, I'll do a little special little, little something around here. Oh, Jim, that is so cool. It was meant for you. Epic. Cool. Maybe oh. the wisps are good. You gotta look yeah, out for yeah. wisps. Oh, yeah, I love wisps. Wisps are awesome. I'm home now, and I've made a few rockets with the gunpowder that Jimmy gave me. Shall we test out my new wings? I think we should. Oh, it's so nice to be able to fly. Oh my gosh. And the wings are so beautiful. Whoop. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Totally fine. Gotta look where you're going. Can't just stare at the wings. But look at Dawn. Oh my goodness. It's so much easier to visualize how the whole landscape will look from here. Let's get a quick look at the road. Yep. That's definitely a very long road. <laughs> This mountain valley is so incredibly epic. I'm so happy. Huh. What a successful day. And I have to say, there's been some absolutely amazing fan art for my character already. I'm gonna show some on screen right now. Some of you predicted what my wings were gonna be. Now, I have to admit, when I saw people doing fan art of monarch wings, it definitely pushed me in that direction. But here's a message of me saying that I wanted monarch wings from before episode one was even released. Yep, you guys read my mind. I don't know how you did that, but I'm so glad that we're all on the same page about what the wings should be. For now, the lore is going well, and I'm super happy with how this little build turned out. I hope that you're enjoying it too. Thank you again for all of the amazing fan art and the comments and the support. It means a lot to me. I hope that you're enjoying Empires, and I'll see you in the next episode, everyone. Bye-bye!